Hello guys, it's me here, F Kosh today, and we're gonna play random breakout challenge. Ah, mm. oh, I should just take this buff. You know what? I should have taken Winacha. His treasures were not that bad. If I'm not wrong, Cream Puff should have a Champions League skin. But in Random Breakout, you get skins by Toto Chance. So even if you have one, there's no guarantee you'll be able to use it. It's too bad she just doesn't have a special event when you pick her. Unlike Moonlight. I like her skin though. It's very cute. Like she's matured from a young apprentice of magic into a full grown wizard or witch. Alright, jump. Ah! Okay, I got the potion. I was afraid I was gonna miss it. Now, if only there was a buff for yellow bear jellies, then this would be all the better. If I'm not wrong, Longan is coming out in a few days. I should probably just mix them out. I've got enough knowledge anyways. And I've no idea since after this the current guild story ends, right? With all the dragons and everything. I'm not sure if they can really add any more new legendaries at that point. So I guess it should be okay if I just spend my mileage on. Longan. And they said there's a new skin, new legendary skin for Longan that's coming out also. So I guess I'll just pull in the Rainbow Cube Gacha for that. I mean, I seriously doubt I'll be able to get it, but you know, it's worth a try. My favourite dragon is still Lotus. Maybe they'll give him a skin one day. Since they've already given Longan one. Hopefully my luck is better today. Not better, but you know, hopefully my luck is good enough. I will be able to get first. 21, 19, 18, 17, uh, 14. Not the best score, but alright. Next combi. You still have a lot of time change things around and make a comeback wow oh 10,000 points for all jellies sure why not devil isn't too bad I mean it's better than cheesecake at the very least
devil cookie did get a buff sometime last year if I'm not wrong whole super epic skin If I'm not wrong, he was relay meta back then. Cause his last skill allows him to revive for a few seconds. Ah! I missed the bonus time. Oh, bonus time. The one's quite easy to miss. And so pretty hard to get because you know you have to slide down if you do two double jumps. You have to make sure you don't fall down a hole or hit one of those potion obstacles. Good timing on that treasure. I need to remember to use my magic clown shoes again. Because sometimes, you know, you just forget. And then you end up losing a bunch of points for that. A few million. I don't think I've ever gotten a legendary buff before. That wasn't like purposefully given me. As in, you know how in the last season of Random Breakout? Basically, Alchemist Cookie would give you the choice to have two legendary buffs at your seventh relay cookie. Um, the only other case where I remember if you can get one which is not natu naturally occurring buff um, is probably either from Starfruit or since it's this season um, Seafairy But I've never actually encountered a real legendary buff in the world. Oh, wait, no, I did. Last week's one, yeah. The permanent magnetic aura. It's this random mandrake baby things again. Look at them just screaming. The little heads off. Okay, there we go. Last skill activation. And bonus time. Yeah. Let's go up. Down, down, up again. Okay. One, two, there we go. Oh, I still have. All right, five hundred and forty seven million. Not a bad score, an 8th, alright. Let's hope our luck continues on this way. Mm. Nah. Oh, Crowberry. Um. Sure, why not? She's still pretty good. Ah, I miss. Crowberry school. Crowberry cookie skill. 
doesn't have a automatic aura for rainbow bear jellies and that kind of thing so you have to be careful not to miss the crescent moon jellies then I mean she's still pretty good still in the meta I guess But comparatively speaking, she's not as good as Candlelight. I mean, Candlelight has been without any buffs at all, but still has managed to remain in the meta, or at the very least the trophy race meta, for quite a while now. And the breakout meta. Firstly, it's because his skill gives quite a lot of points, and secondly, because it's his debuff for when you don't use his combi pad is actually not as great as it would be for other cookies. So, he's a relay favorite in Trophy Race. This map is all that hard, except for the last one. Right, eighth again. I wonder if you manage to hit 600 this time. Yeah, probably. Yep. 630. Oh, the guy in front of me used Fire Spirit. I mean... 627? Not bad. Alright. All we have to do is just keep up this kind of points and you'll get first in no time 8,000 points meh also meh <gasps> oh wow okay I got really lucky here candlelight alright that's good we revive with 25 energy <laughs> okay, oops, oops, ah, uh, never mind. Wrong timing. I didn't mean to activate that skill there, but alright. Because Candlelight's pet skill, he basically gives you a. I'm not sure what those are called. Let's just call it a purple. A purple bear jelly party. Well, those give a lot of points. So basically you have to make sure that if Candlelight Cookie's second skill, the skate, in which she accelerates forward at a very fast speed, you have to make sure you get the timing correct so as to get a few million more points or so. Ah, I dropped. Again.
There we go. Yep. Bam 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 I really like this music. <laughs> Especially when it goes into its second phase. And then you add in all the other instruments. It's like an orchestra. I'm ninth. Should I retry after this? Maybe. Okay, number seven, four hundred eighty-two. Let's retry again. I wish I could hear more of that other song that was playing at the end. It's a very interesting one. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Uh, cross one is good, but. I kinda wanna buff. String. And. Okay. Sure. 10% fa faster movement speed. Or should I take string? Plus 44,000 points for Crescent Moon Jace. Mmm. Sure, let's do this then. To see out of all the random breakouts, um, Millennial Tree was one of my favorite, along with City of Wizards. Ooh, great timing! I guess because it was more fun in general, like right? you had more buffs and everything. Myself. Let's try again. Alright, we're back here again. As I was saying before, City of Wizards and Leno Tree Random Breakout were really fun. Because like it had a variety of stages, you know. It was challenging and then you had HP potions in the last section of Millennial Tree. Sugar Tierra wasn't too big on the buff, so it was just like basic normal breakout. Just with random cookies. As for yoga car, I just don't know why. It was just really hard. Kind of boring. And not the most fun to play. Ah, I missed a bonus stun. Mm, I'll come back to retry that later.
we should be able to get about 500 550 this kind of score with cauliflower cookies pet skill to give more HP we might be able to clinch out another skill usage 600 alright oh the HP potion came just in time Because I missed the bonus time just now. I mean the letters O N U and S. But over here because they put that in now I have it. <laughs> okay. I did not expect that. Count as my good luck then. again all right this should be enough yes a last skill activation all right 867 a number of ways this could go ah sure why not yogurt cream isn't too bad of a cookie No idea why it's so laggy. But I assume it's because of the stairs. Another HP potion again. Alright. I feel like yogurt cream would originally have been a very good cookie but they debuff him right after his epic skin buff so I'm really not sure what to say about that ah got hit is making it very hard to play here oh. but 
There's nothing much I can do about it, I suppose. All I have to do is make sure I don't take any more speed boost later. If not, by then I'll be truly well and screwed. Just keep jumping and it won't be able to hit me. Alright. Stage 10. Well, oh, that was quick. Uh, mm, by my estimations, we should be able to get about 450. At least by the end of this run. Oh, this lag, it's so hard to play. I mean, the game still works, so it's fine, I guess. Speed boost one, one, two. Okay, well, that was all right. I don't want to play through the leg again, so next compete this. Hmm, you see a mysterious door. Should I knock? Open the door! Go away! Candlelight cookie shouts from behind the door. Slam the door? No, this is a new treasure trove I made. Only epic treasures appear in this college of. What? <laughs> oh, moonlight! <laughs> oh, water, I need water. Slam the door. Become chili pepper cookie. Now magic crystal. Just going around and stealing treasures from other people. <laughs> oh dear, the lag. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, the 10,000 points plus buff. Ah! Let's try again. So as I was saying, oh, another blast, alright, anyways, the 10 points epic buff is actually isn't bad with Moonland Cookie. Since she has a lot of jellies in her skill, especially the ones floating down from the ceiling. And honestly, the picking of the blue treasure buff just now? Not treasure buff, I mean combi buff where you got five percent chance for getting fire blast jellies every time you destroy an obstacle. Like that was good, that was a good choice. Honestly when combined with moonlight cookie skill, if I get lucky enough.
Wow, three of them. Four. All right. Three hundred sixty-one, and I got hit again, but doesn't matter. I can try again later. I feel like I'm getting used to playing this leg, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a good thing. I'm too broke to buy anything. I'm too broke to buy a gaming a gaming laptop, a gaming tablet. And I got hit again. Alright man. You do you. We should be able to get 600 million with this. One, two. Seven hundred. Yes. And I'm number one. Now, this is what I call gaming. Ha <laughs> Right, let's try again. 741 All right <gasps> Timekeeper Um Let's take a risk here Oh Truffle cookie and you have all epic treasures too. Mm. Let's try again. Ah. Okay. Cherry ball cookie. Let's do this. She has a new treasure too. So this will be good. The lag here isn't as bad, at least I think so, as it was before. Probably because Cherry Balls Cookie doesn't have as many jellies that come out during it. Oh, I'll need to be careful here. Ah! Go ahead. You know what? Doesn't matter. Can try again. I have to be careful when jumping so I don't miss all these rainbow bear jellies. I seriously wonder what these numbers mean. Are they just randomly generated? Most probably, I suppose. But I do wonder why they exist though. Gonna hit again. Oh no. I'm missing a lot of crescent moon jellies out there.
We are number three. One, two. This should be enough for another last skill activation. Five hundred eleven million. Let's try again. Five hundred and fifty-seven. All right, not too bad of a score, but I am second now. So, dinosaur cookie. Mm. This could go well, or this could go not as well. He got buffed. This thunder drum could help me. Sure, why not? Let's take the risk. I'm not a very big dinosaur fan, I'll be honest with you. I think the only thing I can remember about dinosaurs is the, is the Stegosaurus. The sharp stabby stabby thing with all the knives on its back or something. Not knives, but you get what I mean, don't you? And a Plesiosaurus. If I'm not wrong, it should be the flipper like thingy. Uh, you know, like the Loch Ness Monster. Bunch of flippers. Kinda looks like a dolphin. But like, with the naked body of a turtle. You know? And then I remember there's the Velociraptor. I think. It's the flying bird thing, you know? Or Staraptor? No, I don't think Staraptor is an actual dinosaur name. I think Staraptor is a Pokemon. I think. No, didn't they say birds used to come from dinosaurs? From the flying ones, the... Velociraptors, I think. And then just evolve over time. They lost all their skills. And now they have feathers. Wait, no. If I'm not wrong, the dinosaurs of older times also had feathers, right? It's just that over evolution, they just lost the rest of their skills and everything. Honestly, I don't know. The only reason why I even know these names at all is because when I was younger, you know, when you're a kid, you have this bunch of like science magazines and whatever for young kids. Young Discovery Explorer? I'm not too clear about the name, but. I'm pretty sure that's was what it was. Alright, 632 million. Let's try again, since I hit myself on an obstacle just now. Well, that was a flump. <coughs> A very big flump. Oh? How pathetic. You can't even escape such a place. This is my master's plan for you. If you accept, energy drains 2% faster and only epic buffs appear. 
sure, I guess. Mm. Oh, I just realized. Okay, let's just make sure to pick a good cookie. Mm, amber sugar. Oh no, 10%. Oh dear, this is gonna be horrible. Alright, but let's do our best. An amber sugar is a fitting last relay combi. For City of Wizards. After all, he does come from City of Wizards. I mean, he doesn't come from there, but you know, he has something to do with them. Oh god, leg! And I just hit myself. Ah, I hit myself again. You know what? And at the time. Lord, the speed and the lag, it's too much for me. Surprisingly enough, Amber Sugar, Amber Sugar, Amber Sugar's cookie skill. At least it's magic candy. It sounds like frogs croaking. I don't know why. Seventh. Four hundred and three. Let's try again. Let's hope it will be better this time. Five hundred eighty million in second place. If I played that just a little better, I probably would have gotten first, but no better. All right, rank two. We got pretty lucky this time. One, two, three, four. Epic buffs. <laughs> well, that's it for today, and have a great day. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.